This is problem number one from section 2.2. .2. And this problem it says, for the function g of x graphed here, find the following limits or explain why they do not exist. So let's talk about what a limit is. So a limit is the value that a function approaches as the input approaches some value. It's written as limit as x approaches c of f of x equals L. So they would say you would you would say this piece as the limit of f of x. It's the limit of f of x as x approaches c equals L. So when we're reading this, we're saying the limit of g of x as x approaches 2 is what? So if you look at as we approach 2, so as this function approaches an x value of 2, what's the value of the function? Well, as you can see, as we approach 2 from the left, now keep in mind I'm using the word left, meaning I'm coming from left to right. As I approach it from the left, the value of the function approaches 2. Right? It approaches this 2, the y value of 2. But if I approach from the right, the value of the function approaches a y value of 0 because it's approaching the x-axis. So because this approaches a y value of 2 and this approaches a y value of 0, we can say that the limit doesn't exist because this function is not converging on the same point. So in this case, we'll say d n e. This does not exist for that part A. Part B, the limit as g of x, uh, the limit of g of x as x approaches 3. Well, let's look at it as it approaches 3. As it approaches 3, we're getting an x, a y value of 1. So as we approach 3 for an x value, we're getting a y value of 1, and that's occurring from both sides. And so because it's occurring from both sides, we would say that the limit is equal to 1. The limit of g of x as x approaches 4, well, as we approach 4 from the left, so x value of 4 from the left and the right, we're approaching a y value of 0. So this equals 0. And then finally, limit of this function as x approaches 3.5. So as we're approaching 3.5, 3.5 is right here. So this function as it approaches 3.5, to me it looks like it's kind of right in the middle. So that's a y value of 0.5. So I think this is 0.5 here for the y value. So again, the limit is we're essentially just looking at the uh, function output value as our input value approaches some number.